today I'm going to talk about adding these beads that I've designed on this little Christmas bauble motif. It was designed a couple of years ago but it's still proving very popular today because it is quite an adaptable little motif and quite quick to work for Christmas. I designed it and on the pattern it is marked up with leaves and leaf tallies and this has worked from the leaf tally version. Now many people don't like working leaf tallies and a quicker way of doing it is to add beads in the place. So I'm going to show you today the, the ways of working it using the beads. Now the beads I used are delicas, which are these beads here. They're a Japanese bead with very straight square sides as you can see on the pin where I've put some on. But you can also use seed beads. Now these are seed beads size 8 and you would obviously use a lot less beads than you would for the delicas. I use the delicas on the sample piece because it gives a nice square cylinder of beads to go across it. But as I say you will get a different look and you can use up all your little packets of beads that you've got lying about and I'm sure everyone watching the video has got so many beads they don't know what to do with. Great little motif, just to work it, you can put it on a Christmas card to send to a loved one that you might not be seeing this year and they can hang it on the tree in, in following years. So it's a really, really adaptable little piece of lace. I'm going to start the motif as I would do normally at the top here. I put in two pairs on the first pin and I'm going to start the trail but I'm only going to do it in one direction just to be able to show you the technique for putting these leaves in or the beads in place of the leaves rather. If you were doing the leaves you would be zigzagging it but to give the same effect you use a slightly different technique with the beads. So I'll show you how to do that. I then put another pin in away from the area you're going to be working and we're going to be hanging on that pin, that temporary support pin six pairs of bobbins which are going to be the passives three for each direction and these are hung in the same manner open formation rainbow style astride whichever ma uh, manner you call these and it just takes a minute just to get them on and they're all over the place with the length of the threads so we'll shorten those up and get them to a similar length it's ideal to keep your pillow really tidy by keeping the bobbins at a similar length because it does make it easier to work with. So we've got five pairs there and one more, make the six. Now the two pairs here that are on the outside on the first pin are going to work through the left hand one will work through the left hand three pairs and the right hand one work through the right hand three pairs which will start the trail in each direction and once you've got the first couple of pins in then you can actually take the temporary support pin out you work through the three and put a pin in in the trail edge now some people do turn the pillow to work this, it isn't 100% necessary but you can if you want, just to get it started. Ideally keep your pillow in this plane because it helps you see which way you're going. Now I've put the first pin in on the right, I haven't put the one in on the left because looking at it I need to add in pairs for this new trail. So at this pin I will add two pairs in, again I'll use that temporary support pin that's there. And you add two on this first pin and then when you come to the inside pin again you add two more pairs. So again hang them open formation and you just work through the first pair of the two you've hung on. This means that the two pairs added in will actually be astride that pin and completely supported. Now just work through the first pair and put your twists on and put the pin up. Now 
You can take that temporary support pin out for the moment. When you've worked back through, the two you've put on there are now left out to start this secondary trail. So you can work back through to the outside edge and all the times putting two twists on as you go around the pin. Leaning the pins out and back slightly. Now if the pairs do move around a little when you try to tension them until you've got a few more in. So you may need to hold them just to tension them up. The bobbins have been wound a little while and they are not playing nicely and not unwinding well. So work back through and again we need to add two more pairs on a temporary support pin to become the second part of the trail. Now in Bedfordshire we always add pairs in like this by working through just one of the pairs it reduce, reduces the bulk at the join, makes it less noticeable. So if you're adding pairs in for a plait or a leaf, or in this case it will be a tiny plait to go into a trail, the pairs are supported and you can't distort that outside trail when you work it. Now I'm going to carry on around to where the first um, beaded join will be and I'll j just start this trail here as well. To start the trail I'll just cover that before I finish working off, off camera to get on a little bit further. We're just going to work a very short plait to the first pin from each side and once you get there you can put a pin in just to hold it and then the same with the other two pairs you've put in just to work to that first pin. And then you look at the pin which is highest, which on this case is on the right, so this right hand one will become the worker and you work through those two and that second pin there on the left is the first actual worked pin to give you the trail going backwards and forwards. I'll just work a few pins off camera and then come back to you in a moment. For the next part of the motif we need either a Lazy Susan or an Eyes Out they're sometimes called or a very fine crochet hook. We need to measure how many beads we're going to get in the space. I've already pre-threaded my Lazy Susan as that's what I'm going to use for this uh, process but you can use a crochet hook if you prefer that. If you put the number of beads on you think and just measure it to see if it will sit comfortably between the two, hot, two pins. Now when I measured it before I put the pins in I actually could get more uh, beads on than that. I think that this gap will take four, possibly when we get a bit further down we may want five. And these are the Delica beads I was talking about. So to do this we're going to do the join between one of the two workers from each side. So I've threaded them on, I pull the loop of the Lazy Susan longer so that I can actually get one of the bobbins through that loop. And I'm going to use the two that are on the inside of each of the pair. I thread one of the bobbins through that loop, pull the loop up put my fingers actually on the beads and I'm going to literally push them onto the thread. So grab hold of them, it's difficult to show you my fingers in the way, and pull the thread through the beads. I now get hold of that loop and take the Lazy Susan out and put one of the pair from the opposing side through that loop. so that it goes through the loop and it secures the beads in place. And I then just pull them into position. And I put one twist on both of those pairs. Now the next one is also going to be joining at the same pin on the right hand side. 
So I need to work the trail to here and then I'll do the same process using the same pairs but without doing any more on the right. Just the left trail will work to the next pin and then do the same again. So I'll just do that. The one twist means that you don't put the beads on the same one of the worker when you do the next piece which is really helpful uh, it makes it much tidier. I'll just work a few pins and then I'll show you it again. I'm hoping that you can see the colours of the beads on the video. It's quite difficult to pick colours. Let me know if you can see them okay. And I know it's working then. If you want to see any of the techniques from any of the patterns that I've got, you're very welcome to drop me a message and I can film a video at some point for all them. Some of the videos I've been requested, such as finishing and mounting, will be coming in the future, but it does take a bit more preparation. I've got, if I want to mount an edging, for instance, I've got to work the edging first. But they are on the list and they will be coming eventually. Now you may notice I'm getting a little bit further ahead of myself on the right. So if this happens you can do a back stitch. Or use a pin twice, sometimes called gaining on a pin. Depending whereabouts you are in the world. And to do that I work across to the pin. As you would normally. But I'm going to use the pin a second time. So I put the twists on. I take that pin out completely and just put it under the workers again. Now when I come to tension it, if I hold this first passive and pull it up, it pulls the loop in but doesn't distort the trail. And then just go gently on the next row until you come back the second time. And then it's fixed it and you can't see that you've used that pin twice. Just a couple more pins and I can show you again. Now I have just started this motif in one direction, although the pairs are there for the second side. I haven't put in all the pairs for the secondary trail over on the right because I just wanted to show you the beading. These are great fun little motifs to make. I really enjoy making them. And there will be some more coming soon as well. I'm currently working on a new pattern sheet with three more new motifs for Christmas baubles. Okay, so we've worked to the, the next one. I'll just turn the pillow slightly. Hopefully you can see it again. And I'm now going to work the second join, beaded join. And as I say, this one is slightly longer because of the direction of the trails, so it may take an extra uh, bead or two. We'll just put the beads on and measure them again. Each time you need to check how many beads you need in each one. Now I've put five on, let's have a look at five. Yep, I think five's about right. So again, you do need to lengthen the bobbin a little bit and we're using the alternative one on the right it doesn't matter on the left, you're still going to use the inside one on the left so pull the loop up big again on the Lazy Susan or if you've got them on the crochet hook you just hook it hook the thread and pull the thread through that way so onto the bobbin Pull the loop up, get hold of the beads between your finger and thumb and literally push them onto the thread. Get that nice big loop, if it isn't long enough lengthen it at this stage before you let go of the Lazy Susan. Get hold of the loop, take the Lazy Susan out, you've got the loop, you've got the beads on there now. Don't ever let go of this, otherwise you'll find beads next Christmas. 
put the second bobbin through and then pull it up. And you've then now got a little zigzag. Now this time you're going to have this one joining so the right the left hand one is left and you work the trail down to the next pin on the right and you continue in this way because they appear to zigzag you have to work one stage and then the other and again don't forget to put one twist on after you've done the beading. I hope that's been helpful just one thing to mention if you were working this as a motif you would have started and put extra pairs in there for this trail and you would also put them in in the same manner as we did at the start of that trail. You would add two pairs in to zigzag backwards and forwards as a plait and you will be doing the same beaded join on this side. Now on the original I actually did leaves in the centre but if you're really opposed to leaves you could do the whole thing beaded. It's entirely your choice. It's the great thing about these patterns you can actually adapt them to suit what your preferences are. And any pattern that has got tallies on and you want to put beads in, your lace, your reason for making it, there's no reason why you can't do it. Unless you were doing it for a lace guild assessment, something that needed to be traditional and then you would need to work the leaf tallies. I hope that's been helpful. Give me a like, a subscribe and let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Lots more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.